Water is the lifeblood of the planet. Within us and around us, the movement of water is going on all the time. Between the sky and the ocean, forests play a vital role in regulating the quality and quantity of water, which has flow-on effects for the health of fish, birds and all other organisms, including us. At Scion, we study how water is affected by forests in New Zealand. Water is one of the most valuable of all forest ecosystem services. In New Zealand, 55% of all streams and rivers flow through forested areas. The quality of water in these forests is high by international standards set by the World Health Organization. This is true whether the forest is native or planted in exotic species. There have been many studies of lakes, rivers and groundwater in New Zealand. The results are definitive. Forested streams tend to be clear, low in contaminants and low in sediments. Clean streams and rivers are vital to the health of ecosystems and the quality of our lives. Aquatic and riparian habitats in forests are among the most diverse and productive ecosystems in New Zealand. High water quality is good for everything that lives in or around the stream. People also rely on clean water for everyday use and for recreation. Forests, and how they're managed, influence the quality, quantity and timing of surface and groundwater flows. Forest soils are good at soaking up water, so when it rains, water penetrates the soil rather than flowing over the surface. This means less surface runoff. Flooding is common in many parts of New Zealand and is very costly. Well-managed forests help reduce the damage caused by floods. Forests reduce the amount of sedimentation flowing into waterways, meaning less downstream mess to clean up. On the downside, trees use a lot of water so they do affect annual water yields. In dry regions, this can create problems where there is competition for water. One of the most tangible environmental benefits provided by forests is reduced soil erosion. Sedimentation from soil erosion affects the colour and clarity of water. This can seriously affect the health of organisms that live in streams. Not good for fish or fishermen. Most of the time, erosion and sedimentation is low in forests. The main exception is at times of logging when exposed soils are vulnerable to heavy rain. During big storms, large debris flows containing logs and branches can flow out of forests, causing damage downstream. There are clear guidelines to reduce these risks during harvest and roading operations. Good forest management practices will minimise the impacts on streams and help to protect waterways. Assuming the forest is replanted, any negative impacts on soil and water are mitigated within three or four years and the streams return to a natural state. Overall, forests have a huge role to play in ensuring the health of our waterways and the quality of our water. At Scion, we encourage the wise use of trees and forests to create productive landscapes that are healthier and more sustainable.